gorgeous welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new and if you are new it would mean so much if you guys hit that subscribe button to join my YouTube family but today's video is gonna be all around college I've done a lot of videos on like school but I never did college related videos only more videos geared towards high school so I thought this would be a good one to do because it's been a few years now since I graduated from college and I definitely have learned a lot of tricks and tips through the way that will be useful for college students in order to slide through college and get the best marks possible. So hopefully this is helpful. If it is, thumbs it up. I could totally do a part two if that's something you wanna see. Comment down below if you are currently in college and what you're studying, I'm curious to know. And on that note, let's just get right into the life hack. The first tip I have is definitely more easier said than done, but it is to prioritize your nightly sleep. I feel like college is definitely the time, and I know it was for me, where you say that quote a lot, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I feel like that is such a popular quote when you're in college because a lot of students in college pull all-nighters or they're up all night and their sleep schedules all over the place. Rarely anyone is getting a good night's sleep. There was a point when I was in college and I was totally living off energy drinks, coffee, and sodas in order to stay awake and finish all my assignments and study and that is just unhealthy. Do not do that. It's important that you're getting that eight hours of sleep daily and I know sometimes it is really really difficult because there are so many assignments and tests and exams and stuff like that but hopefully these other tips will help you get a little bit more organized when it comes to that because there is a big thing that a lot of us college students have done and that is procrastination and if we just dealt with procrastination a little bit better we probably could squeeze a little bit more sleep into our schedules by getting the eight hours of sleep that is required it is going to maximize your health, your memory, your ability to learn, and so much more. So you are doing so much good if you do get your sleep. A little life hack I have for you, just like you set an alarm to wake up every single morning, set an alarm for your bedtime. So at least when that phone rings or when your alarm rings, you know that that is the time you should be going to bed. You should be trying to aim to go to bed every single night at the same time and waking up around the same time, even on weekends and I know this isn't possible every single weekend but trying to do it as much as possible is just going to be so beneficial for you. Life hack number two is plan everything out and I mean everything because there's been so many times where I tell myself yeah I'm gonna remember that I'm gonna remember that and then I totally don't remember everything and it just goes out my head because there is just so many things to remember for college so I am a huge huge lover of planners I have a small one so I can fit it into my purse or you can put it into your backpack and I have a bigger one for at home I even have those like big planners that are set on the desk and I even have a calendar right there if I wanted to write something on it I am obsessed with planners and organizing and writing down everything I have to do you can either do this digitally or manually by writing it down. It really depends on preference. If you don't plan things out, a lot of the times this can lead to procrastination, late nights, it can lead to you forgetting something or missing certain assignment dates or test dates and that's going to lead to cramming. So you want to organize everything out and kind of see how long you have until a certain assignment is due or an exam is due. Something that's really great to do is at the beginning of every single term before you start a class, you will get a syllabus I believe everyone gets this so it's basically just a layout of your term of that certain subject of when your exams are gonna be when your assignments are gonna be take advantage of that write it down into your planner the first day that you get it tip number three is to sit at the front of the class I know a majority of us just go into our first day of class and we just head to the back comment down below if you're someone that does that if you just go right to the back or if you actually like to sit in the front of the class I'm curious to know but I totally was that person that walked into the class and just didn't want to be seen and just went to the very back of the class. For most of us, it is totally instinct to just go in and sit in the back. It's really great to sit in the 
the front if you're someone that gets extremely distracted, especially you're, since you're allowed to have your phones and your laptops and everything in class, a lot of people get distracted and go on social media, pretty much not really pay attention to any of the lecture. So if you're someone that gets easily distracted or if you're someone that you know that if you sit in the back of the class, you may have a little snooze and actually fall asleep, that's a thing in college. You know, classes are really big, so if you're sitting in the back, most likely your professor's not gonna see you sleeping. And if you're running on little sleep, this can be a problem. Sit in the front, you're more likely to actually pay attention and listen to the lecture and learn something from the lecture. You're more likely to retain the information when you're paying attention and you're right in front of that professor. Tip number four is note taking. So I feel like all of us have our different styles of note taking, but I'm gonna share with you something that worked really well for me and I found was the best for myself, so maybe it can be useful for you guys. Whenever I was in a lecture, I did write my notes on my computer, so I typed it all up every single lecture, just because a lot of the times there's a lot of information to write down and it goes really quickly and it's just way too difficult to write things sometimes, depending of course on your class. And then after my lecture, something I like to do is actually manually write it down on a pen and paper, all of my notes that I typed up. Just because when I'm typing things, I feel like I'm doing it so mindlessly and I don't really take in what I'm writing all the time. I find when I write my notes manually, I actually read it to myself when I'm writing it down and I, it sticks with me a lot better than just typing out my notes. And then I'll go in and highlight the points that I find are very important or certain terms that I should remember. So whenever you're going back and studying, you kind of know what to look for. Life hack number five is to quiz yourself regularly. You can actually do this in a couple different ways and these are just the two ways I like to do. So I thought I would share it with you guys. And the first one is just to take practice quiz tests. You can do this sometimes online there's no pressure around obviously the mark you're gonna get because it's not a real quiz so it kind of takes that pressure off you it's just like another way to study instead of you just reading off your notes it's good to actually get tested so you can always do it that way and another way that I like to test myself is just to use flashcards I usually would write a term or maybe it's a formula and then you write on the back the answer and what I would do is I would just shuffle it into the pile you can get someone to test you that way or you can even test yourself with your own flashcards. Those are two ways that I use to study when it came to any tests or exams. Tip number six is space out your studying. When I think of college, I think of two things, procrastination and cramming. I'm not gonna lie, I have done this so many times, even though I would tell myself, I'm not gonna procrastinate, it ends up somehow happening. But it's really important to try to avoid this because it's going to obviously cause less stress Stress, less anxiety and if you actually cram your information in and procrastinate and then study last minute you're less likely to actually retain that information you might remember it short term but then you're going to forget it right away and down the line when you have to take a more advanced class of that particular class that you're doing now you may have to remember those fundamental basics the next class is just gonna build on top of that knowledge so it is important that you're understanding what you're learning and to be able to understand what you're learning is spacing out your studying, learning it little by little instead of all in one night. Your planner is really gonna help you to avoid procrastination and cramming. You do get your syllabus at the beginning of the term, so you kind of know when exams are coming and when assignments are coming for the most part. So plan it that way. Even after every single class that you have, even just reading the chapter or going over your notes after every class, Class, taking even 15 20 minutes and going over it it's going to be so beneficial in the long run and you're gonna be a lot more prepared for your tests life hack number seven is to use your phone's lock screen this is a really good trick to use in order to not forget anything so you can either do a couple things on your phone's lock screen you can take a photo of just even where your classes are I went to either the University of Ryerson in Toronto so it is quite big a lot of classes are 
apart in Ryerson. So one class might be honestly a 15 minute walk from the other class. So sometimes, especially at the beginning of semester, it's good to have your classes on your lock screen to see where each class is. And another great hack is to put your checklist in your daily checklist, whatever you need for that day, as your lock screen so that every time you're on your phone you see what you have to get accomplished during the day and you don't forget or miss anything. Life hack number eight is to designate a space of studying that is not your dorm room or your bedroom in general if you're not living in a dorm. I learned this when I was in school and taking psychology. You're, you don't want your brain to associate studying with resting and our brain associates our bed with resting and sleeping. So it's always great to study away from that. So going to a library or a coffee shop, those are the two places I was. I also had a different section in my school that was geared towards students and I would go in those buildings. So there's different buildings I'm sure around your school that are designated for studying and that a lot of students go to. And for myself personally, when I'm around people studying, it motivates me to stay awake and study. Sometimes when I was in my room studying and it was starting to get dark out and everyone's asleep, you just want to go to bed. You don't want to keep studying. But if you're in an area where the lights are on, people are studying, people are staying up with you, even if you don't know them per se, it's just a lot easier to stay up and that's what I found worked with me. Number nine is to clean and organize your bedroom and backpack at least once a week. Trust me, when a space is cluttered, it just makes you feel stressed and unorganized. And on my channel here, I have done a ton of clean the room videos, so if you guys want to watch that video while you guys are cleaning your room. I have a ton because I am sometimes a little bit messy, not gonna lie, but it, it's me. So we're just gonna go with that. I will link some down below if you guys wanna check it out. Life hack number 10 is to make friends in your classes. So of course it's great to have friends and you want to make friends in college. I know college was so fun for me. It was probably the best four years of my life. I met so many amazing people. I had so much fun in my college days. When you're out of college, you're going to miss it and you're going to miss having all those friends around you. But it's also important to find good friends in classes because if one day, let's say you can't attend a lecture for some reason and you're gonna miss all those notes, you can always ask your friend if they can send over the notes from the lecture. And also, if you have presentations, you can always ask your friends to ask you certain questions that you know you're gonna know. That's always great because presentations was always so horrible for me. And there's always that one person in class that just asks you the hardest question ever and you're like, really? You just like don't know what to say? Life hack number 11 is to skim ahead of class. So before every class, I don't know if it's the same for every single college, but I know for myself, we would always receive our slides from our professor, I think like the night before or a little bit before the class. And you would also have on the syllabus what chapter you're going to go over. So read that chapter before class or read the PowerPoint slides before your class actually starts. This is going to prepare you to know what's going on, what you're going to learn, so that it's a lot easier to actually understand and you're not just going in it blind, you know kind of a little bit already. And I just find this allows you to understand the information better and retain it better. If you're staying on top of things, this is going to also make you not become that procrastinator. Life hack number 12 is to voice record your lecture. Lectures. So I don't mean doing this every single lecture because that would literally be absurd, absurd, absurd. Oh God, I try, you know, you try to say a bigger word and then it comes out not right and then you're just looking hella stupid. Did I finish college or did I not? I don't really know. Once in a while, actually voice recording a really essential uh, lecture or if there's a presentation is super great because when you have that exam, you can go ahead and re-listen to it. And a lot of the times when you take notes, you may skip really important information that's going to be on the exam. Life hack number 13 is to take advantage of Google Scholar. Definitely 
definitely use Google Scholar as opposed to plain old Google and just looking like using sources like Wikipedia, which are just not a reliable source, unfortunately. <laughs> Google Scholar really filters out a lot of untrustworthy sources that you can't use in your essays or your papers during college. This tool makes it a lot easier to find credible sources, academic studies, and papers that you can use in your essays and in your assignments. And that brings me to life hack number 14, which is to use Google Translates to discover any mistakes that you have in your college reports or essay. When you're going over something, there may be a mistake on your paper when you're reading it, but your brain fixes it for you so you don't realize there's actually a mistake on your paper. Simply you have to just copy and paste what you've written onto this online tool and then you're gonna hit the audio button and it's going to read it back to you. So you're going to be able to catch those mistakes. It's also going to allow you to catch those problems with rhythm, flow, clarity. It's great to hear someone else read it over yourself. You're a lot more likely to catch those little mistakes. And the last and final life hack I have for you is do not pay full price when it comes to your textbooks. It is just ridiculous the amount that textbooks are. Most books you're going to need, you can either rent them or you can buy them used and you're going to get such a big discount off. There's also a lot of the times digital versions of textbooks that you can actually get online that are a lot cheaper, but you can always go for a used version and there are so many different sites you can do this and you can even just learn around your campus where you can find used books because a lot of students are always selling these books. So those are all of my life hacks, my tips and tricks when it comes to how to survive college, how to do well in college. Comment down below what you are studying. I'm curious to know what year you're in. Click that subscribe button to join my YouTube family. I upload every single week. If you did want that part two, thumbs it up. And on that note, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.